Good morning. I want coffee. You can't have coffee. I want coffee. You can't have any coffee. I want coffee. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on our couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we have a house guest, you'll be alerted to it. Welcome to day 44 of beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. And it is a really good thing that we extended it to day 44 because we don't have day 43 or day 42. So yeah, you may notice like, what happened to day 42 and to day 43? Well, we had some technical issues with our camera in here. Uh, we filmed day 42, thought everything was good. Had some really good content and some yes. really good conversations, which I don't remember any of it now. Right. Uh, but somehow the battery went dead on our microphone. And so there was just a bunch of talking with no sound. Yeah. So yesterday we said, okay, no problem. We'll just scrap it. We'll talk about what we did. So let's talk about day 42. It was a very simple day. All we did was I had games. We had a couple of eggs for breakfast. Yep. And coffee, and then, of course. Uh, we had coffee. And then I was at my games. I got home at like 10 o'clock at night and Rachel had made a phenomenal dinner. Okay, so I am home from thrifting and I am currently tearing down everything in the front room to set up stuff for November. And Joe is still at his game. So I thought I would help out today by prepping some ground meat. That way, when he comes home, if he wants to add some eggs or something, you know, we're good to go. So I have just a mixture of one package of hamburger that Joe vacuum sealed recently. And I've mixed that with one package of just plain old ground pork. I like the mixture of hamburger and pork together. So I'm just going to put this on the Blackstone and heat it up. You gotta love something that is so easy. Even Rachel can use it. So I've got the ground meat on the Blackstone and I'm just gonna sprinkle some of the Redmond season salt on it because we've been using a lot of like the garlic and pepper one and I love this one too. So just gonna add that to the ground beef and pork mixture and yeah, my prep work is pretty much done. And then yesterday was Halloween and uh, again, we had a great conversation. <laughs> we fixed our microphone only, I guess there was interference from the charger. So because now I had it plugged in, you so we lost that one too. Beep. That's so the noise. rather than trying to recoup all that stuff, we're gonna pick right up. Yesterday's dinner, by the way, was phenomenal. Um, we made a flank steak. It was so good. It was so good. I'm gonna show you how we made it right here. Okay, we have our smoker here, and when I got home, I put a rack of ribs in here, which we're gonna eat later on while kids are trick or treating at our house. But then over here, what I did was I took our flank steak that I had seasoned and I put it over in the smoker box so that it didn't really cook a lot, but got some smoke flavor. We have it up there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna throw it onto the Kamado Joe on a really hot fire and cook it super fast. And then we're gonna eat flank steak for dinner. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna just grab this. This is gonna be really quick, just one or two minutes. Look at that. That looks delicious. We're gonna go over here. Right in here, listen to those chickens. And we're just gonna get a good cook on this really quick, get a nice sear on it, and we're gonna be good to go. Oh, I love the smell of cooking meat on a barbecue. Go ahead and flip this. Oh, look at that. That should be perfect. Yeah, look at that. Take this inside and slice this puppy up. Huh? 
Hello, gorgeous. Oh, look at that. That came out so good. And what is this, a flank steak? This is a flank steak. And what will you be having? <laughs> Those juices. All the way through. Did you do this on the Rec Tech or Commando Joe? So what I did was I actually have a rack of ribs going on the Rec Tech. So I put this while we were filming earlier, I just put it in the smoke box. So it wasn't getting a bunch of heat. It's only like a hundred degrees in there, but it picked up all of that smoke flavor. Oh my gosh, take a look at this. Take a look at this cut, watch this. Look at the juices, I cut it. Oh my gracious. Oh yeah. And then after that, what I did was I threw it on the Kamado Joe at a 700 degree, just like one minute on each side. That cooked it the rest of the way. And you're gonna have this delicious flavor. You wanna try it? Heck yes, I do. All right. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You wanna eat? Yeah. That flank steak was probably better than any of the ribeyes we've ever had. I was so surprised because a lot of times when you're buying beef, because we used to not eat steak all the time, right? Right. We didn't eat a tremendous amount of beef. If we did, it was ground beef. Now we've learned through this challenge that there are so many cuts of beef to enjoy. And usually when we will have a steak, we'll buy a ribeye or a sirloin or you know something that we use all the time. We don't use flank steak, right? but that's about to change because that was it. delicious. It was really good, very quick to cook. Everything was awesome with it. So it is now Monday morning. Beef, butter, bacon, and egg is technically over. We have keto on the couch this morning, uh -huh. which is why we can't have coffee because not only do we have keto on the couch, but right after that, we have to go get our labs done and we have to be fasted for the labs. And the appointment's not till 11 o'clock in the morning. We didn't think this through, probably. But got to do it now. Otherwise, the next appointment isn't until Friday. Well, yeah. Because I didn't even think about the fact that I booked an 11 o'clock appointment and Keto on the Couch goes till about 11.15. So hopefully they're going to be able to take us. And the only reason we made it for 11 o'clock on Monday is that was the first appointment that they had for the day. And I, I couldn't book an 8 a.m. appointment for another two weeks. Well, I don't want to do beef, butter, bacon, and eggs for another two weeks. Now, we're not going to the same lab that we went to last time. No, we used Own Your Labs, which is Dave Feldman's company. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. I need to um, go get a bunch of things ready for Keto on the Couch. And then we're gonna go get our labs done and then we're gonna come home and I think we're gonna have brisket for lunch Yum. or dinner. How do you feel? I feel like they took a lot of extra blood this time. We did a lot more tests than last yeah, time. Yeah, so I was just like, one more vial, one more vial. I'm like, leave something for the holidays. <laughs> well, I got one there, but I also got one there. Aww. So yeah, she couldn't get the blood out. It just was spurting out and coming out really slowly. And she's like, are you fasting? I'm like, yes. no, I'm not fasting more than I'm supposed to. Well, she meant an extended fast. Oh, no. And she's like, are you doing a water fast, a dry fast? I'm like, certainly not. You are never going to catch me doing a fast where you can't drink water or take a shower or brush your teeth or any of that stuff. My wife I'm has never requested I not do that. So uh, after a while, she's like, okay, I, I didn't want to have to stick you again, but I got to stick you again. So not a big deal. We got it out. Uh, it was really good though. I mean, we were late and they took us in right away. So no lesson learned, like come to the Walgreens. Yeah. Don't go to the regular lab. Go to the Walgreens one and you're in and out super quick. We did find out you could have had coffee though. It's fine. It's better for me not to know it. It's better for me to just move forward because it needs to be black coffee. Right. You know, and it, they're probably thinking a normal human size cup of coffee and not like, oh, a pot. Yes, a pot. Well, she just said, fine. have you, are you fasted? And I'm like, she's like, not including water or black coffee. You could have been drinking water. She said, drinking water, black coffee will actually help the blow, fl the, fl the blood flow better. Here you go. Oh, Thank you, coffee's ready. <laughs> Reunited and it feels so good. 
What are you doing? I am holding my mother's mop. <laughs> Look at this dog. It needs a haircut so badly. So uh, let me tell you about your coffee. You're drinking your coffee in your Two Crazy Keto's coffee mug. Yes. But this is only 16 ounces. And normally you're drinking like 24 ounces of coffee. Because Dr. Right. Barry said you can have one cup a day. But, you know, it could be as big as you want. So since your normal cup is 24 ounces and this one is only 16, I made your normal 24 ounces. It is in the blender. Okay. When you're done with this, you can add it in there, but you can't, you have to drink it when you're done. You can't so go drink like this. One cup. Yeah. You can't go drink your second cup in six hours because that's more than one cup a day. Does that make sense? It, well, that makes total sense. It's the last day that I'm kind of like on a, a coffee like restriction. Right. Do you think that I will drink less coffee moving forward or will it be like the count on Sesame Street like one ha 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 two ha, ha. I think you're going to drink less because you were already drinking less before but you just didn't like the restriction that you can only have one there's something about like not being restricted that, that'll be like okay fine I don't even need it right so inside of the coffee I made the whole pot it's 10 actual cups that they say which is only like five ounces a cup and then there's three tablespoons of butter, so it's one and a half tablespoons of butter each. So what are you going to do now? I am going to just hold this dog who loves to cuddle. He's a he's a cuddled dog, and he's been going to the front door like, where is my mother, and why did they drop me off with my sister? <laughs> but he's so sweet. I have a ton of cleaning to do. You are working on the front room. Well, I'm sort of working on the front room. I got to put everything back in your she shed, though, so that I can work in the front room because we're going to create a lot of dust. But before we do that, Anthony and I are going to run to the store. We're going to Home Depot to get stuff, and we're going to do an add-on on the chicken coop. I'm hoping it will only take a couple of hours. Brisket is in the smoker. I don't think this one's going to take too long, though, since it's just the flat. What did you do to my office? It's like semi-clean on the shelves. Aww. I'm trying to decorate for Thanksgiving, Christmas, start moving things out. There isn't three inches of dust in my office anymore. I know, I'm sorry about that. Okay, but... well, we have the basic box and we're not done, but we're stopping for today. Okay. Uh, we still have to like do moldings and I'll have to cut out a door for cleaning it, but you wanna see what we did so far? Yeah. So we still have to wow. put a roof on and we'll have to cut a door. But at least there's, we probably should have made it bigger because there's not a lot of room for them to jump up on their roost. I'm so excited for them though because this is the best shot of them not getting bullied. Till I think they're when they get bigger, they won't get bullied and then somebody will actually become the dominant one. Like the gray one, what is the gray one's name? There she is back there. So you've got Phoebe is the black one. Bernice is the, the grayish silver one. And this is our baby Lois, which look how good she's doing. She's doing really good. You would never know anything was wrong. So Bernice is the gray one? Yeah. I think she's going to get huge. Look how big she is already. Yeah, she's going to be big, kind of like, I think, Naomi. By the way, are you hungry? Yes. Have which I didn't eaten? eat anything. I thought I was going to. Good job. Well, uh, the brisket is done and resting. So okay. I'm going to take a shower and then we can eat. But that means you have to be done for the day. Okay, it's dinner time. This looks good. So we've got some brisket. This was just the flat. We got it, I think when we went with the Sam's Club. So cooked pretty quickly since it was just the flat. It looks delicious. It looks so good, like worth the wait. And then we have a slice of the Maria Emmerich bread. We each have a little over a pound of brisket here. So a good fatty meat dinner. I feel like we're finishing it off in style. <laughs> I don't know, that flank stink that we had, that was pretty good. Yeah, We're gonna go ahead and try this. Mm. I still love brisket. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love you brisket. It's my favorite cut of meat, it really is. So good. Okay, we wanna talk about something. This was on the other videos. You may have seen these appear in the Keto crate, uh, the Keto Chow Club box. Yeah. So we just got these in. We're gonna be putting them on the website. Hopefully by the time you see this video, they will be up on the website. These are 16 ounce coffee mugs that have a flip open top. <laughs> so they're available in two colors. 
We haven't figured out the price yet because we haven't figured out how much we paid for them and then how much the shipping is going to cost on them. So we have the black and then we have, I don't remember what this color is called. It feels like a powder puff to me. That's what I'm calling it. So yeah, so two colors. Uh, they do have big ones, like 24 ounce ones, but they were going to be rather expensive. Yeah. So we kind of opted to see how the 16 ounce one goes. Uh, we did get a restock on the insulated water bottles with new colors but we have two new colors two colors they didn't have anymore so we now have the nebula which is the one that rachel uses all That's the time what? there's that one over there and we have the pacific uh, dream which is like the bluish green color right then we have this color here this is totally a rachel color and then we also have this color here it's like sunshiny so these will be going up on the website as well i have to take a picture now we do have to raise the price by a couple of bucks. I think it's like $2 more because shipping and postage and stuff like that, every, all that stuff has gone up. So it costs more money for us to ship it. Um, but still it's not like really ridiculously expensive. And what we're doing is same thing as before. It's just a flat fee. Shipping and everything is included. I think before they were $30. I think with the shipping now, it's going to be like 32 and the other ones have to go up to 36. Right. But um, we didn't get a restock on the big ones yet because we still had a few of them left, but a lot of people were asking about these here because they fit into a cup holder. Cup holder. Mm -hmm. So uh, let us know down in the comment section if you're interested. Like I said, they should be up on the website within the next day or so. Exciting things happening. We are now that we're finishing with beef butter bacon egg. The plan is to start to slowly incorporate other stuff back in to see how we feel not tomorrow we put everything back into the mix right because then you won't know what is causing inflammation if you have any inflammation what is making you not feel good so tomorrow which is monday or tuesday happens to be buffalo wild wings day so we're going to eat chicken wings tomorrow right and then we're going to kind of wait a day and we'll also eat probably some beef and some eggs or something like that but the only extra thing we're going to add in tomorrow is chicken, and then we'll wait a couple days, see how we feel, then we'll try to do something else. We're definitely going to be getting ready to get the keto chow back in our lives, especially because our new flavor is out, Yay! which I'm excited about. So we want to, I'm going to get some keto chow prepped and get it into the creamy containers and get them frozen so we can eat some keto chow ice cream. I'm so excited about that. Now, if you're upset about the vlogs going away, don't be. Yeah. Because. We're not done. As we, you know, get back into different ingredients, we want you to come along and see right. what happens to us. Yeah. So for at least this week, the plan is to still continue to vlog every day. And then we're going to see how it goes from there. I do want to remind you, if you have not seen Keto on the Couch, you definitely want to go check out Keto on the Couch from yesterday because we have a really special announcement in there. And you don't want to miss that, but I'm not going to tell you what it is here. I'm just going to tell you that this video is one of the ones that counts. So we're going to go ahead and eat and we'll check in with you guys later. Bo, are you cleaning up the mess from filling up the dog food container? All the ones that fell on the floor? You're actually eating food. I've never seen you eat dog food before. Usually it's chicken, steak. You eat better than I do. Bo. Oh, he's camera shy. Look, he's camera shy. Oh, he's gonna play the game now. Go to grab him now. Oh, he's letting you grab him. Well, I think because he knows we've been together for a whole day now that like, I better cleave to my sister because mommy must be out of town. Usually he plays get away. Keep away, yeah. Like you, he's like, hey, can you pick me up? And then when you go to pick him up, he's like, ah, no, just kidding. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. So, there is something about eating fatty meat for me. What do you mean? Within an hour of eating a piece of you fatty meat. You have to go to the bathroom? Meat. Bathroom pyrotechnics. Same here. Do you have the same thing? I have the same thing. It's here. like when we go to a Brazilian steakhouse, I have to go to the bathroom before we leave that we steakhouse. We are elbowing one another to be like, no, I get in the restroom first. We got a box. What is that? You want to know? Well, yeah. Let's go open it up. We have to open it up in the kitchen because this is a big box. Can I just say how much I love this island? I know. <laughs> that was a huge deal. This thing is so awesome. First of all, it's got storage in it. I can now store my cutting boards down here below so they're not gumming up the cabinets. We have our barbecue stuff down there. 
We have the drawer over here with extra rags. This one here has got like my whisks. It's just, but just the fact that I can have a whole area to work and not worry about all my kitchen appliances, which allows me to have all my kitchen appliances on the counter. Okay, there you go. It's very light. It is a very light box, but there is a lot of stuff in there. <gasps> I know what this is. I know what this is. This has to be from Pork and Good. I placed a huge order. Because they were having like a, uh, what is it? Something expiring in November type sale? Yeah, it was all stuff that's expiring Whoa. in November. Like, look at how much stuff I ordered. Oh my gracious. So we've got pepperoni pizza, which Joe loves. Yeah, like there's a lot of them. That is a lot of pepperoni pizza. Like, I think you're good for life. Pepperoni pizza, pepperoni pizza. Ooh, smoky jalapeno and cheese. Now, I do want to say these bags are supposed to have three and a half servings, which, okay, let's let's hold that bag up for a minute. Let's talk to Pork and Good. We love them. Can we say this is either two or four servings? What's with the three and a half? I feel like... Who's eating a half a serving? I feel like two is fine. I think two is a respectable amount. Well, how many calories are in a serving? Right now, it's 80. I would rather you tell me that it's got two servings and I'm eating, what it would be, about 120 calories. We don't need to keep it under 100 calories. No. I Nobody eating pork rinds is caring about how many calories are in their pork rinds. Well, I, I don't think, whether they care or not, I don't think anybody is expecting that that is a low calorie snack. Right. So yeah, let's let's say that each one of these bags, and to me, it's the perfect size, because we can, if we say that each bag is two servings and we split each bag. Ooh, we got family size. Yeah, we got the family size too. Pink salt and vinegar. We got to eat those when we were in Vegas because those actually didn't have any seasonings that we couldn't have at the time. Onion and sour cream. Wow. So, are there any other flavors? I think that's all the flavors because we got whatever was on their clearance. Right. Now, they have a Best Buy date of December 11th, but these guys, as long as you don't open them, will last longer than that. Joe and I will usually open it, and then we will split a bag. We use these a lot for um, nachos. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can grind them up and use them as, like, the binder in meatloaf. Yep. They, wor they work absolutely fantastic for that, and... Um, yeah, they're delicious. I would honestly rather have these than crackers any day. Me too. I think you get a lot more and you've got zero carbs, yeah. which is really, really nice versus, you know, keto crackers. And we make our own keto crackers. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we love keto crackers. It's just that it's nice to have a crunchy option that is no carbs. And I love pork and good because... Number one, they have lots of awesome flavors. They even sell their seasonings, which go great on chicken wings. You can just get plain chicken wings and use their seasonings. But their seasonings don't have any maltodextrin in them. And that's one right. of the things when you compare Pork and Good to a lot of the other ones out there. I mean, we've tried some of the ones like that one that Chris and Miriam turned us on to that we get at Walmart. It's like baconettes or something. It's delicious, but it's not the cleanest ingredient. No. And if you look at like, for example, this pizza flavor. Pork rinds, cooked in pork fat. That's super important to me. And then we have salt, tomato powder, spices, including paprika, white cheddar, which is a cheddar cheese, milk, salt, cheese cultures, and enzymes, whey, buttermilk, natural flavor, salt, sodium diphosphate, sodium dioxide, added as an anti-caking agent, garlic powder, and spice extra tips. You can't get any cleaner than that. Right. And you never see flavored pork rinds that clean. That's why I love them. If you are interested in pork and good, we purchased all of this. They did yeah. not send us this for free. We bought all of this. But if you are interested, we do have a 10% off coupon down below. You will not regret buying their pork rinds. Oh, I am so ready for bed. How much ice do you have in your glass? <laughs> I have all the balls. That's why we have all no ice them. in our house. Because you literally have more ice than you even have glass. I like really cold water. <laughs> This one's not even in the water. I had such a boring to watch day, but I had such a productive to do day. Yeah, it, it was a busy day. We got a lot done. I mean, the house looks amazing. Thank you. I, I'm trying to make room for Christmas. 
Yeah. So like behind me, you can see I've changed a lot of the stuff. I've moved Thanksgiving stuff this way because we're celebrating that now. Right. And then I'm trying to free up space to start, you know, Christmas Village and all of the tchotchkes and stuff like that for Christmas. Because I love it once it's up, but you have to put it all up. Today was a reminder for me, though, about how we can never just do one thing. We're like bouncing from project to project. Like we, st are you guys like that? Like you start a project and you're like, oh wait, this needs to be done. And halfway through reorganizing the house, you're like, oh, let's go through the pantry closet. Which I am glad we did not do until this. If you have not done beef, butter, bacon, eggs, and you're thinking, okay, I'm gonna start it. Cause I've gotten a couple of messages even today. Like, okay, you guys are at the end of it. I'm gonna jump into right. it. Right. Um, don't clean out your pantry until you're done. Either clean it before or clean it after. Because you're just going to be like, these are all things I can't have. Right. So we were going through and we were like, oh, wow. Okay. We've got all kinds of keto chow that we can start. We have, um, kettle and fire bone broth, but like chicken. We right. couldn't do chicken. There's cans of chicken. There, there's all kinds of things. Keto bricks that I'm like, I'm glad I was not looking at this. I wasn't tempted by it until... Now, speaking of keto chow, give me that bag. You so like our big bag? We we have a lot of keto chow. Yeah. But we organized it because we have big bags, but a lot of times, you know, we don't even have that many big bags because we get a big bag and we Fill put up. it into the containers. But we have a lot of individual meal bags, you know, especially like newer flavors like caramel macchiato and s'mores and things like that. And We've organized them all in a Ziploc bags. Like here's 20 caramel macchiatos. Here's 10 key limes in a bag. This bag contains where we only have one or two right. of flavors. Like there's one or two raspberry snickerdoodles, cheesecake. one or two raspberry cheesecake. There's a couple of peach mangoes in here, um, like eggnogs, things like that. So we came up with this idea before we're allowed to touch the other keto chow. We're gonna, we have to use this bag as a grab bag. So when we wanna have a keto chow or ice cream or something like that, like we're gonna make up some ice creams and put them in the freezer so that later on in the week we can have like a, you know, a ninja, a, a ninja creamy ice cream. But you have to put it your but hand in and not We're gonna play look. roulette. You gotta yeah. reach in the bag and whatever flavor comes out, comes out. Like, I don't know if there's a spicy taco, but like <laughs> spicy taco, Well, that you know, could like, go to dinner. Yeah, but a spicy taco ice cream. I don't think that would work. I don't that think that's going to be very good. But yeah, that's what we're going to do with this. It's kind of like, you know, the roulette that Autumn used to play with. I loved it. She used to do it with Zip Fizz. Right. And we tried it and I stink at that one. No, you would just put every flavor back be other than fruit punch. Right. Because I pretty much want fruit punch and sometimes limon. And so I would reach in and it would be like, great. Okay, no. Um, orange, no thank you. Blueberry, uh-uh. So yeah. it was just like, that wasn't, it wasn't good for Joe because he was sticking to it and I was not. Well, now so, we just buy individual flavors. Which there might be a peaches and cream in here. I had actually found a tube a couple months ago of a flavor that we had one tube, it was in my drawer. And I forgot I like it, and it was the iced tea Zip Fizz. Oh. And so we ordered some new Zip Fizz because we didn't have any because we haven't been using it. Right. And they're actually at the front door right now. So I ordered 20 of the iced tea flavor from Amazon because it's not on sale at Costco right now. And I got 20 of, oh, the orange cream, which I know isn't your favorite, but I Caleb like that Caleb loves flavor. that. Caleb drinks that one. Yeah. So I'm Fruit Punch Lady. We have some fruit punch. We do have fruit punch, but I don't have I'm any good. of the other flavors. Right. So that's what we're going to do with this. I think that'd be fun. Making desserts, that kind of stuff. I'm excited to be able to do that kind of stuff. But other than that, I mean, you cleaned up the house. Anthony and I started working on the chicken coop. We got the box done. What a nightmare wrangling them into it tonight. Oh, I know. So we don't have the metal roof on yet. We still have to get that. But today's goal was get the box done, framed out, and put the size up because we cut the chicken wire from the inside. So we had to at least make sure that critters couldn't get in there overnight. At least there's a place for them to go right now. We still have to put on a front. We have to cut out a door on the outside for cleaning it. The funny part is, is the baby still went up on the roof because they don't know about this thing yet. Because the best thing to do is to lock them in there like one day well, we have no and let them yet. learn that. But they don't have a door but then, of course, we got them all into the hen house, and what they've been doing is sleeping down on the floor, not going up in, into the main coop. 
And tonight they all went up in the coop. Now they're sleeping on the floor in the coop. They're not up on the roost, because but they the did go up there. Still won't let them. I think it's going to be funny when they get bigger and they start bullying the older chickens. I really think that Bernice is going to be bigger than some of the other chickens. Yeah. So they need they need to like check themselves before they wreck themselves. The thing is, is the the upper coop is big enough for like ten to twelve chickens, and we only have seven. Right. But they just what it's used. To, it's funny because the older ones used to all sleep on one corner. You go in there and look, and you'd see this whole section. Now they're spreading out. Like, no room for you. <laughs> <sighs> so we got a lot done, but we were doing this like bouncing back and forth. Do you do that? Like you start a project and then halfway through you pick up something like, oh, I should clean the pantry. Like we haven't finished cleaning the rest of the house, but let's go through the pantry now and see what we have. We actually did pretty good. Like I'm going to bed. I still have laundry that I need to like fold and put away, but... For the most part, we closed down the projects that we dirtied up in the house. For the most part, yeah. Now, I'm working on some legal stuff for the business, and I'm my office got halfway cleaned. I have to do my desk portion. Right. But I got some videos to edit. I'm so upset still that we lost two days of vlogging. And, <laughs> oh, and now I'm in a panic, like, was this one not working either? Was this not one working that either? So... Um, I've got a couple of videos to edit. We got to edit a video for our camping channel, but I wanted to talk about, you know, we went and got our labs done. What an incredible experience using Dave Feldman's company, Own Your Labs. First of all, you save a ton of money. And it was super fast. Yeah. We got a lot of labs done. So, you know, I think we ordered five different labs. The total bill was like 140 bucks, but if you would go to your doctor or to some of the other companies... Um, it would have been three, four, five hundred dollars because we got complete lipid panels with like particle size and all that kind of come full, you know, CBC. I mean, we, we got a bunch of different things, insulin mm -hmm. and you know, you order it from his company. Again, I'm going to leave a link from it down below. And on addition to the already cheap prices, you can get another 10% off if you agree to let him use your data for like all of his you know work so that he can continue analyzing and figuring out things with cholesterol because that's the name of his company it's cholesterolcode.com and if you want to know more about cholesterol check go out. check out his website and his and all of the different videos he's put up because it's really fascinating and he's doing really important work but you can get 10 percent off now when you do share your information you're not sharing your name and no, all that kind of stuff just it's your data basic things like this is the type of keto lifestyle or this is the type of carnivore or are you fasting? And then he puts that together with what your numbers are so that he can form charts and, and analyze things. So it's a great way to do it. And then all you do is once you get that from them, you make an appointment at a lab corp. And our place was actually in Walgreens. Walgreens. So even though we got there 20 minutes after our appointment, we were in and out, no problem. It was like a hidden room. Yeah. I think if I was shopping in that Walgreens, it was like the room of requirement, right? It, it was a great experience. We learned, just go to Walgreens for your labs. Don't try to go to the actual lab corp office because they're usually busy. I would have never even known they're there. And they weren't busy at all. No. Of course, they had to stick me twice because she said my blood was flowing too slowly. Oh, I'm sorry. But you're it, slow it's bleeder. I'm a slow bleeder. That's probably a good thing, normally. <laughs> So here's the plan for tomorrow. So the plan for tomorrow is you have to get up in the morning and you're going to church, right? I have a ton of meetings. You have some meetings in the morning. We're going to have Buffalo Wild Wings. We're going to have chicken tomorrow, but we cannot eat yet because we still need to do our photos. We oh, have yeah. not done our photos and our measurements. We're going to do them tomorrow. So before we eat, we will do all of our photos and our measurements, and then we'll be able to share that with you in one of the vlogs this week. Are, we're going to share our befores, our afters, what our before measurements are, what our current measurements are. We're going to share with you what our weight was when we started, what our weight is now, which we're going to do all of that stuff tomorrow. And then, like I said, Buffalo Wild Wings. The Wednesday, we're going to go back to just eating some beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. We want to see how do we react to like the chicken. Then Thursday, we're going to incorporate something else. I'm probably thinking some, some uh, keto chow. Maybe something else. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back into drinking my electrolytes, but we want to do this slowly. Like somebody actually put a comment up that they transitioned out of beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, and they added two things. 
to their, like what they were eating. And then they woke up the next morning and they were inflamed. So now they're trying to figure out, was it the this cream or, that. or was it, I forgot what the other thing was. And that's why you have to be careful about if you're trying to figure out what you're going to react to. You know, it's one thing to add stevia and chicken. But if you want to add, say, chicken and then a bunch of cheese, well, which one of those is going to cause the right. inflammation? We're not going to go one item per day, but we're going to look at the items that we're trying to pair with each other. So that's why we're going to do the chicken tomorrow, but we're not going to use their seasoning because there could be an issue with their seasoning for us because their seasonings do contain maltodextrin. And we don't want to blame the chicken for what the seasonings are. Right, doing. same thing with cheese. Like when we do a cheese, it's just going to be cheese. We're not going to add in, we're not going to do cheese and chicken on the same day. Unless, of course, we find out that, you know, we were fine with chicken. It's just going to, like, depend on what we're trying to add we're back take it in. slow. Yeah. So I'm excited about doing, you know, all of those different things and seeing how everything comes out. But before we did, we got some mail. And I this read is this so time. cool. So this actually came from Sherry. So I'll let you read that. Yay. Thank you. Yes. Sherry Long. Love you, girl. Longtime subscriber. Mm -hmm. Dear Joe and Rachel, I'm sending you a small gift from my new hometown just outside of the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. I haven't been able to participate much in the community as things have been a little crazy in my life. I retired early from the jail I was working at in Virginia and moved to Tennessee to help my father and disabled stepmother. She has been extremely sick this year, but seems to be on the mend for now. Unfortunately, my husband can't retire from the jail until May, so we are only able to see each other when he is able to get time off. Oh, that stinks. Enough about me. I know this is not much, but when I saw these mugs, I immediately thought of you two. Joe's is obvious, and Rachel's is bigger, of course. I cannot thank you all enough for what you do in the keto community. You've been such a blessing to me as I am the only person doing keto in my family. Being able to watch the videos has given me a sense of normalcy and community that I needed, as well as the motivation to constantly learn and grow in meeting my health goals. I've been keto for almost three years and caught you all in your early days of two crazy ketos. She sure did. I'm so glad I did. I was hooked from the start. You guys are great. I've watched you grow as a channel and in your knowledge. Thank you so much for your passion for this lifestyle and for your passion of sharing with others all that you've learned. My husband and I are seriously considered going to the convention in Salt Lake City, which I hope you do. Hopefully we will be able to. I look forward to meeting you both if we are able to make it. If you ever want to vacation in the Smokies, yes. you're always welcome. We have a camper permanently set up at our house with water and sewer hookups and a coffee machine. Nice. God bless you both, Sherry. And she shared a gorgeous picture of herself. This is me on a hike with my husband in Frozen Head State Park. Love this keto lifestyle with all its health benefits. Not bad for a nearly 58-year-old woman. So the mug she sent me was this. In case of emergency, ask Joe. I love it. Source of all wisdom. How cute is that? That is cool. Is I that? really like this. Thank that you very much. Really, really and bless here us. here is your mug. Look at this gorgeous mug. That is really pretty. This is definitely going to be like my Thanksgiving time mug because it's just, it feels like outdoorsy and it's yeah. reminding me that, you know, things are getting cooler. Mm -hmm. And I always love Tennessee. That That's where we would go to look at uh, leaves yeah. changing because, you know, in Florida, we don't get it. Right. So thank you so much for thinking of us and and for being a longtime subscriber. We we love you so much. And, and, and we're going to be praying that, that your husband and you get to see each other more often because mm -hmm. I know that that has to be challenging. Well, it has been a very long day, and tomorrow we have a bunch of work to get done. Uh, I'm excited about doing our measurements, and I, I have no idea what the before and after pictures look like. Y'all keep saying, you guys look so much better. I feel it in my shirt, but I don't necessarily know if I feel it overall, and I, I don't... I, it'll be fun to see the comparison of the picture from... 44 days ago to now. I am prepared to know that like I haven't lost any on the scale. Like mm -hmm. I'm prepared. I'm mentally prepared. Like I'm not going to be upset. Right. I'm just not going to. Because the point of this was not to lose weight. Because things have changed in our actual clothes. Right. And I am happy about that. Yeah. So I just want to remind everybody, regardless of what everything was, is the whole point of this challenge was to number one, see some body recomposition, 
to number two, show that eating just fatty meat and, and if you ate the right things, you weren't going to gain a bunch of fat. And Dr. Barry did warn us at the beginning that you could go up in weight, but he's like, you would not go up in fat content and fat percentage. And that's why he has this challenge of if you ate nothing but beef, butter, bacon, and eggs for 90 days, and if you gain 10 pounds of fat as documented by a DEXA scan, he would pay you $1,000 because he's that confident that eating ribeye and bacon and butter every single day as much as you Real want. Real food. That you would not gain fat, that you could gain muscle and bone density, but you're going to experience body recomposition. So that was the whole point to this. So regardless of what the scale says, I do feel like we've had body recomposition. I definitely do too. And I feel great. I feel confident. I am not afraid of breakfast anymore. My menstruation is back. I feel youthful. Yeah. I, I feel very good inside of my body. I've had clarity of mind. We have eaten like kings. Mm -hmm. I have enjoyed learning how to cook new things that we hadn't cooked previously. We're using new appliances that have been really fun and using new cooking techniques. And I have enjoyed these 44 days. This is, this is, it's been peaceful. And yeah, I'm gonna step on the scale tomorrow but I don't know if I'm gonna be stepping on the scale again after that because I have enjoyed not having to deal with that. Yeah, that, that it has been uh, just like a peace of mind knowing I don't have to worry about that thing ruining my day. Yeah. I mean, and, and you know, we had it on Keto on the Couch and that's, that's the whole idea of that scale. That scale determines my day. Right. And there's never anything good that comes out of it. I mean, if I step on the scale and it shows I gain weight, it's telling me I'm a failure and you need to not eat today. And if I step on the scale and it tells me I've lost weight, it's giving me permission to not eat the cleanest for the day. Hey, you, you lost three pounds. You could let up on the rain. So nothing ever comes good from stepping on that scale for me. So I'd rather just use it maybe once a month, kind of see where things are going but just utilizing my clothes and going from there. So with all that being said, oh, almost knocked off my cup. That is gonna be the end of today's video. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.